Hi everyone and welcome to Knit Socks with me. This is Aloilla Knit. Aloilla means on the waves. My name is Reetta. I am a knitter from Finland and today I will show you my current favorite way of knitting socks, including a tubular or Italian cast on, a short row heel and an ergonomic toe. So this is not a sock pattern, more like a recipe you can use with whatever socks you're knitting, with whatever weight of yarn you're using, if you know your preferred stitch counts or the stitch counts you need to cast on and so on. I'm using a worsted weight yarn here and a 3.5 millimeter needle and my foot is an EU 3940 and I'm of course giving you the stitch counts I'm using when I'm knitting these ones but you can use this tutorial or these techniques on whatever socks you're knitting and for example the heel is used with a portion of the overall stitch counts so this is really usable for any kinds of socks. So this is a way I have found I can get the best fitting socks for my feet, especially the ergonomic toe is great for me because uh, I have quite tapered toes so that my big toe goes much further than my little toe. So then with traditional toe decreases, when the decreases are distributed consistently throughout the toe, kind of bunch up my toes. So this ergonomic way is better for uh, my foot shape. There are so many ways of knitting socks, so this is just one of them and I am sure to be exploring new ways of knitting socks in the future. So maybe I will update you later, but I hope this helps and gives you some tips for your sock knitting. So without further ado, let's get knitting socks! Let's start with casting on the stitches. I'm measuring the amount of yarn I need. I want to cast on 48 stitches, so I wrapped the yarn around 12 times and measured four times that amount. I'm going to put my index finger under the working yarn and my thumb under the tail of yarn and putting my needle there in the middle and twisting to create the first pearl bump. And here you can see how I start to create one knit stitch and one pearl stitch. Casting on the last knit stitch and then keeping the both yarns in my hands, I'm going to twist the needle to secure the last cast on stitch. And then we can start knitting the first round of the tubular part. We are going to slip the purl stitches with yarn held in front and knit the knit stitches. Here I have all of the stitches on one needle, but because we want to connect to the round next, I'm going to slip the stitches and divide them on four needles. And because I want to make the beginning of round even more seamless, I'm going to switch the first pearl bump to the last needle, but I'm doing that later. So now I have 13, 12, 12 and 11 stitches. And turning the work around so that we can begin the second row of the tubular part where we're going to purl the purl stitches and slip the knit stitches with yarn held in back. When I'm at the end of the last needle, I'm going to take the first needle and purl the first purl stitch so that it moves to the last needle. And now I can start working knit one, purl one rib. And I'm going to do nine rows in total of that. 
here is the finished rib and you can see how seamless and stretchy the tubular cast on edge is and from here we're going to start knitting stocking it in the round for about eight centimeters or however long you want your sock to be next it is time to start working on the short row heel starting with the first needle and knitting all the stitches on that and then turning the work on the purl side we are going to slip the first stitch knitwise with yarn in front and slipping it off and then pulling on the yarn so that the two legs of the stitch come up on the needle and then purling to the end of that first needle and then continuing purling to the last needle as well purling all the stitches on that needle and then again turning the work on the right side of the work we are going to slip the first stitch purl wise with yarn held in front and pulling on the yarn to get the two legs of the stitch on the needle and then knitting to the end of that needle and continuing to the next one at the end of the needle we are going to stop knitting right before the double stitch and turning the work and again on the purl side we are going to slip the stitch knitwise with yarn held in front and pulling on the yarn and then purling to the end of the needle and continuing purling to the next needle and again at the end of the needle we are going to stop purling just before the double stitch and turning the work to create a short row and again on the right side of the work slipping the stitch purlwise with yarn in front and pulling on the yarn and start knitting continue working on the short rows like this until you have one third of the stitches left on the needle so in my case i have four stitches left on each needle after that we are going to knit one round with all of the stitches the double stitches are treated as one stitch and on the first needle we are going to knit them through the back loop so not from where you usually knit but taking both of the legs and knitting them through the back loop after finishing the first needle we are not going to turn and we are going to continue knitting on the round and then we come to the last needle and these double stitches we are not going to knit from the back loop but the normal way so knitting them just as usual and treating the double stitches as one stitch so knitting both of the legs at the same time after working the double stitches knit to the end of the needle next we're going to do the short rows the other way around so knitting the four stitches in the middle and then one stitch where there used to be the first double stitch and then turning the work doing the double stitch as before so on the purl side slipping the stitch knitwise and pulling on the yarn and then purling to the end of the needle and continuing purling to the next needle and purling the four stitches in the middle and then one stitch where they used to be the double stitch turning the work and slipping the first stitch purlwise with yarn in front and knitting to the end of the needle and to the next double stitch we're going to knit this from the back loop and then knit one after that and again turn the work continue doing the short rows like this always going one stitch further than the last double stitch so that the short rows always get longer and longer and finally you have again knitted all the stitches on the needle and doing the last short row turn and knitting to the end of the needle and after that we can start working stockinette in the round for the foot 
and just remember to when you come to the last double stitches to knit the first one through the back loop and the last one as normal. And here you can see the finished short row heel and next we're going to just knit a stockinette in the round until this sock covers your little toe. Next we're going to start the shaping of the toes and because this is my left foot sock I'm going to start the decreases on the left side. So at the end of my third needle when I have three stitches on the needle I'm going to knit two together and then knit one and on the next needle I'm going to knit one and then do a slip slip knit decrease. On this round I'm only going to do the decreases on these two needles so the ones on the outer part of my foot. Then after that one round of stockinette with all of the stitches and then doing the exact same decreases at the same needle. So in the end of the third needle I'm going to do knit two together and knit one and then on the fourth needle I'm going to knit one and do a slip slip knit. After this knitting again one round with all of the stitches. And I'm going to repeat these decreases on every other round like this only on the other side a total of five times. So as you can see here it is starting to shape on the outer part of the foot. After the last decrease I'm going to knit one round with all of the stitches and after that starting to decrease it on both sides so on all of the needles at the end of the first needle two together knit one and then on the second needle knit one slip slip knit and doing the decreases also on the outer part where we started the decreasing. After decreases we are going to knit again one round with all of the stitches and then we are going to do a total of three times these decreases with all of the needles and after every round there will be one round in between. If the knitting starts to feel fiddly because there is a different amount of stitches on the needles you can just slip two of the stitches or a, a couple of the stitches to the needles so that you have an about even number of stitches on each needle. When you have about half of the original stitch count left, so I have 6767 seven, when I originally had 12 on each needle, we're going to start decreasing on every round. I decreased two more times and because my beginning of the row was in the middle of the foot, I'm going to knit the first needle all the stitches one more time and then I'm going to slip the stitches of the sole on one needle and then slip the stitches of the top of the foot to another needle. I think binding off is easier when I have only two needles to work with. I measure the yarn I need for the Kitchener stitch bind off by wrapping my yarn around the stitches three times and cutting them off and then pulling the yarn through a needle. Starting off with the Kitchener stitch we're going to go through the first knit stitch knitwise and dropping it off the needle and going to the next knit stitch purlwise and tightening the yarn and then purl wise to the back side and then knit wise to the second purl stitch on the back and tightening and then knit wise dropping it off purl wise to the next knit stitch 
and tightening the yarn and then purlwise to the back needle and knitwise to the next purl stitch there. Because we see the purl side of the back needle, we're going to treat the stitches as purl stitches here. So knitwise, purlwise to the front and purlwise, knitwise to the back, always dropping the first stitch on the needle and working all of the stitches like this. And coming to the last stitches here, we're going to go knitwise, purlwise on the front, leaving us with one stitch on there, and then purlwise, slipping it off, and knitwise, leaving us with one stitch on the back needle, and then going to go knitwise on the first needle, and purlwise on the back needle, dropping both off and pulling the yarn through. So here we have it, a neat edge and a finished sock. Because of the ergonomic toe, these socks aren't identical. So on the right foot, the decreases are started on the end of the first needle and the beginning of the second needle, rather than the end of the third needle and beginning of the fourth but otherwise they are the same i hope you found this video helpful and i wish you happy sock knitting